No, I'm not. <laughs> Cloud meeting to order. Roll call. Commissioner Kroll? Present. Commissioner Barton? Present. Commissioner Funes? Present. Lieutenant Habrick? Present. Attorney Lamana? Present. Okay. We have the court. All right. Um, so we have minutes from our uh, September, October, and November meetings. Have everyone had an opportunity to peruse them? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. I'll move we accept the minutes for September, October, and November. Second. No question? No, 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 everything is in order. Well, well, good minutes. to me. Excellent, excellent. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> so moved. Okay, and then we have um, some one day licenses. We have the North Shore Latino Business Association. We want a celebration and fundraiser for Wednesday, December 21st. I make a motion that we approve the uh, one day licenses and simply exempt the fees. For the um, Latino. North Shore Latino yeah. Association. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. All second. Two. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then we have a one day license for El Tropical Restaurant on uh, 429 Linway for s Saturday, December 24th, Christmas Eve, for a Christmas party from 6 to 1 a.m. Some party. Sorry? Some party. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Christmas Eve. Yeah. They'll be closed yeah. to the public. Yes. Good, good. Okay. It will be. Yeah. Friends and family only. Okay. Friends and family only. All right. Okay. So, I'll motion to approve the one-day license. I'll move that we approve it. Second. I'm in favor of approving it, and that is not for um, nonprofit. So we, we're not. Right. Waive. So we we will not waive the fee. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Moved. Then we have a one day license for Christopher's Cafe, I believe. Yep, Christopher's Cafe. He's looking for a one day license for January the 11th for a holiday event, 6 to 9. If there's any questions on it, uh I'd like to make a motion that we uh, approve the comment vote. Well, there's an issue with the with well, there's location. It, right. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. I, I kind of I kind of agree because he is on the agenda later for a common picture of license. Is anyone here from Christopher's Cafe? Because I think we do need to straighten out some issues here. So, um, uh, Madam Chairman, I'll move we suspend the rules okay. and that we uh, postpone voting on this until later in the meeting. Okay. I need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay, so let's go right to the common picture license for Christopher's Cafe. You want to come on up? Sure. Okay. There seems to be some confusion on everyone's part about what, what exactly is going on here. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I would, I would like to know, how come you're just applying for the common picture license now? Actually, I didn't realize I didn't have one, if you want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. When I talked to Debbie mm -hmm. after the guys had come in, mm -hmm. she said, I thought the seating license. Was no, that's occupancy. It's exactly. It, right. So it was totally my confusion because I even said to her, I must have it. I've heard business for seven Okay. Okay. And as chair of the board, I'm going to say that I, I feel as if part of the confusion has been on from our part because we I think we need to get notices out to the public about how to apply for <clears throat> common victual licenses and one day licenses and what the rules and regulations are. So I do think that we need to step up and there down. That like one, that. They literally just called me yesterday for the party, so I don't know how to handle something like that. It's not like sometimes people don't know in advance. I, I, I got you. <coughs> but if you don't know, then I suggest that you pick up the phone and okay. call that. <laughs> just to keep yourself out of, out of hot water. Totally fine. Okay. 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 So as far as the common virtual license, you've been in operation for the past year, correct? <laughs> All longer. So, um, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with 
issuing a license for the common good deal? I mean, I guess not, but I mean, we're going to be reading some police reports later yes, on. Yes, exactly. And uh, I don't know, there's a situation going on down there that I believe, and I'll defer to the uh, police department that's happened before about some confusion about uh, uh, serving yeah, there, there may be some confusion, and certainly this, this applying for the convicular will, will alleviate some of it, mm -hmm. but it's going to be very clear mm -hmm. when um, a one-day license is issued, mm -hmm. and there should be no there should be no question if there's not a one-day license or, or or a liquor license to some extent granted. Um, these these functions are completely illegal. Yeah. They're completely illegal, and, and they um, will result in potentially criminal charges. I mean, you know, gotta have a license. It's the most regulated thing out there, especially in Massachusetts. So. Okay. And I do, I do want to see us be more pro proactive in perhaps publishing on our website <coughs> what the rules are pertaining to the issuance of a one-day license. If you don't have that license in your hand, then you cannot assume that it, is, that it has been granted. Correct. Okay. And that is what has happened in the past. Correct. And it will not happen. Correct. And, okay. All right. So now I have one other question. Are criminal charges being brought forth or? Yes. Which? And that's going to be worked out in the district court. Okay. The district Actually, court. when? Before, I guess, uh, the mediator, mediator on Monday. Okay. And he said that it was a city. Okay, well, they actually, that may have been not, may not have been um, what the application for a summons. That's going to go through that process. And you can inquire within the court and I'm sure they'll advise you. Okay. If the criminal uh, process has started, then it's going to be there. So okay. you know, it will come to you know some type of uh, dispositions. Uh, Madam Chairman, mm -hmm. uh, past practice have we tabled matters like this while we're waiting for something like this to play out? I'll be honest with you. This is the first time that I've ever had to deal with a situation like this. Okay. Can I just? Yes. Just. The thing is, we didn't have a liquor license. Our only real option was to um, go with a criminal complaint. Exactly. So, um, it's, you know, it's not like coming from the board and spend the liquor license because there's now. So, mm -hmm. that was basically our only option. Now. Okay. Now, if he's saying he went to a clerk's hearing on Monday okay. and they told them that it's, it's on you, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you can do. But okay. I don't have any knowledge of that. I'm just taking it. Okay. Forward. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate your input. Um, okay, so um, I feel comfortable with, um, this is just my own personal mm -hmm. belief, I mean, you, you folks decide what, what you want to do, but I honestly feel as if uh, we should grant the common vehicular license, he has been in business for a year, so, it hasn't been done yet, so I do think we should issue that. As far as the, um, his assumption that he had the one day license, I do feel like as chairperson of this board, I don't think we've made it perfectly clear what the rules and regulations are regarding having a um, one-day license. Because we have another issue coming before us tonight where someone wasn't clear on the rules and thought that they could advertise giving away complimentary drinks that's if you buy a ticket. It, but, but that's in the rules and regulations for pouring establishments. Not They don't get the same rules and regulations for a one-day license. And this is something I think that we are remiss on. We need to get that information out there. And I do think it's, I think we need to. Maybe we should curb the one-day license. Well. <laughs> some, some of these places come in and get them like they're, like they're running a bar. I, you know, and I tend to, I tend to agree with you. I do tend to agree with you there. So, you know, that's something else that we can perhaps look at when it comes. But I don't recall him being before us too many times. No, no. Yeah. So, and I do think that that is the issue we are dealing with right now. I think all the I think all I think all the businesses, mm -hmm. just like everybody else. Mm -hmm has to know, it's not on the board necessarily, but they should know that they cannot serve alcohol 
without a license. The barber shops can't do it. The no, absolutely not. Nobody can do they, it. They haven't even they have come before us for that yet. Bakeries you can't do it, and I hope they don't. And any other business, you can't do it. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty. I would imagine it's a pretty known rule, law. Plus the rest of the offense. Of course, I mean, we, I mean, we take those actions against other licensed establishments like barber shops and stuff. Um, so, I mean, if you don't have a liquor license. Well, I do think if we are the ones issuing the license, then I do think we do have a responsibility to make sure that he, she, or whatever business it is, is aware of what their responsibilities are. So, I, I do think we should take that upon ourselves to at least get it out there on the website. Have the people coming in for the one-day license actually come in? That's uh, you know what? That's an excellent in. suggestion too. I, I do think you know, and, and I do think that's something that we would have to advertise yeah. and let them know that you must appear before the board to apply for a one-day license. Where are they buying their alcohol from for a one-day license? They're not buying well, it from a distributor. No. So you got <laughs> because it is a one-day license. Gentlemen like Rolling, attorney got Lamana, can you a distributor to get it? Can you step in perhaps and, and clarify some of the issues here? Do they need to buy their alcohol from a distributor? They would need to buy it from a distributor. And I do think this is something we need to get out there. And also, how many days in advance they can apply exactly. for a license. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I do think it is on us to get that information out there. It, it, to be fair. And to on the one day license also, how many days are they allowed to do the one day? One day. Well, it's one day, but we do have people coming before us with multiple sure. dates. <clears throat> Attorney Lamana, is that acceptable? Or should we? I mean, we have some Lin Arts events where we're. I believe we're going to limit to 30 in a year. So Say how much? 30 in a year. 30 in a year? Okay. 30. 30. 30 in a year. Okay, three of them. There may be establishments that, and facilities that are going over that figure. <clears throat> okay. So again, you should probably get that information out there. So. At some point, they should pay the two thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> watch like a duck and watch like a duck. Like a duck. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Okay, so I guess at this point in time, if there's no more discussion on this, I'm looking for a motion to accept the common victim. His application for a common victim. Um, we accept the application of the common victim. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then, since we do have the one day license here at this time. I move that we approve the one day license. Okay, this is for Wednesday. One I'm day. sorry, not Wednesday, I'm sorry. It's for um, January 11th, yeah. January 11th, the holiday event. Okay, so you do know that you need to have the license in your hand, yep. and you do know that you need to buy your beer or wine from a distributor. Okay, and we will be looking for the receipt. Okay, so I am asking you at this time, submit your receipts. Okay? In advance? Like when I do this? Well, when you buy your liquor okay. for this January 11th function, make sure we have a receipt on hand. I am going to ask that. Yeah, but he's going to come back to a regular meeting. To Jeffrey, right. Jeffrey. I mean, no, Jeffrey. Just, just you're out of order. Yo, you are out of order. Close your mouth. You are out of order. So we need a motion to accept the one day license. Yes, I did so. Thank you. And we need a second. Aye. Sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yep. Put on. Okay, then we have um, change of manager for um, Rowley's Tavern. Everything looked in order to me. Any questions on this? No, I mean, absolutely not. Nope, no, absolutely no. not. It's just that's a formality. Right. It's a formality. Sorry. 
Sorry to have yeah. him down here. It's just a formality. Yep. We're really young. We approve the uh, change of manager to Rolly Hayes. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Do <clears throat> we need change of manager again at Building Association? Change step of manager from on. Thomas Fabrizio to Mr. Newhall. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Again, everything looked in order. Oh, yes. Anyone uh, have any questions? No, Madam Chairman, I'll go on record as saying I've known the New Hall family for almost 20 years. They're fine upstanding members of the community. I, I, I work with you at Verizon. You run a tight ship up there at the golf course and uh, you make a fine Bloody Mary. So on that note, I'll move that we uh, approve the change in uh, manager to Mr. New Hall. Well, by all means. Any questions for me? All in favor? I need a second. I said. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. you. Good to see you. Okay, then we have a pledge of license. Shop quick. Yeah, we're going to have to put that off. Yes, we do. Maybe you should also get on a website that if you apply for change of licenses, no, change I mean, of managers, it, change yeah. one day I mean, license, you need to be it, present it, well, no, at these it, meetings. It says so in bold writing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. On the yeah. notices, it says so in bold writing. All right, so we table this. Yes. Table until the next meeting. Um, I mean, there's no one here. Right. All in no favor? Yeah. We'll table it. Then we have a new license. No one here for that either, so we will table that. Then we have a continued hearing for La Parade. And no one is here for that. You know, so. so I mean, in a, in a, well, but that's, Deb, want to explain? Want to explain what you know? Okay, I got a phone call about 5.30. Um, it was Francisco's wife, said he was on the way to the emergency room, and she was on her way there as well. She was at a different location. So he was not going to be here. Can we have him bring in his discharge from the hospital? Is he, is he hurt? Is he the one hurt? Or is there a family member? Or she she did not get into it. She just said he was not going to be here. Attorney Lamont. Right, I'm referring to you. I have a question. Yes, we did. We had somebody. That time and we have the table. Do we have a table? No, you don't have the table. You do not, that's what I wanted. I, I not do have defer to the police department. I think it has been continued a few times because of pending saying. investigation. Yes. Right. I mean, you guys talked about handing the dolly right. wheel in the ear. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. pretty yeah. clear cut. And then yeah. along with the further investigation, yeah. it was clearly not the first time. Mm. Uh, are they on these progressive steps? Uh, they're on uh, the last one was a 14 day. I believe the, suspension the last time there was an issue, he was on. Uh, they were, he was told that if it happened again, they'd take his license. Within a year. Within a year. It was May of 2015. Trust me, I checked, I checked this out. So they did make the timeline. They did. But they've already had a 14. So I think at this point in time, we can go as far as. 30 days with the stipulation, any more violations, we just revoke. We just revoke. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, I have this thing about trying to be as fair as possible. Right now, we can say 30 days suspension, but if we find out that he was the one rushed to the hospital, or if he had a legitimate reason not to be here. Court would be sympathetic if he has a legitimate reason. Okay. Okay. Wouldn't bet my life is legitimate. That's what I want to do. You know, to be fair. But that's after a week. What if they know the market passed it over there with the market? The risk of the world's condition. So, you know, we should make our vision here tonight. We should. In fact, did. We will. I thought they were. They're talking about it. I mean, Detective Pettipus. I see all this. I see all this. Working for this. I mean, this has been going on for a long time. Yes, it is. Don't check my grammar on that. And, no. was, and we postponed it a lot, too, because we're waiting for you guys to get all the evidence. Yes, so yes I appreciate your cooperation.
cooperation. Thank you. Why are you so good to us? Patience. It's hard. Seriously. I would recommend 30 days. Yes, 30 days suspension. <laughs> and what do you say motion? Uh, I make a motion okay. that, we, that they're suspended for 30, for 30 effective days. Second, effective now? Effective. Are you going to get your little, effective, you give a little grace period? No, effective immediately. So you get on there and take lessons? Absolutely. Yeah. Effective immediately. I will please please second. second. Oh, good. All right. Very good. Miguel seconded. Yep, yeah, I do. I need all in favor? Aye. 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 And that's effective as today. Mm, 13. Can they stay over the food? No. No, it's that's cool. Did you know that's going to be the next thing that comes up? I know. Yeah. Didn't we go through that with the lead Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. The, the and we let him, yeah. and you know. Yeah. And he also argued one time that he wasn't there. He's, uh, he's, uh, because it, it, there's more than just liquor going on here. Yeah, I mean, I was he was the manager, oh, yeah. and, you know, so. Yeah, yeah just yeah. close the entire establishment. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and communications, none at this time. <laughs> because. We have some now we have this. Not yet, not right. yet, Jeffy. Not yet, Jeffy. We have a book to go through here. At this time, um, I don't know if we should jump to uh, suspend the rules and wait on the police report and just get the new business out the way. Uh, and we have a problem with that. Yeah, and we have a problem with that. Uh, okay. So new business, we have to do a vote on the New Year's Eve extension of hours. There is only one establishment who applied for an extension of hours who did have violations within this um, fiscal year, and that's JD Sports Bar uh, so at this time. That's an automatic no, um, mm -hmm. we'll be denying that request. We have to do a better job next year. Need a second? <laughs> second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then we need a motion to approve everyone else who applied. Miguel, you want to? I make a motion that we do approve everyone else that applied for extended hours. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. And I mean, then we need. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, we're going to have a problem with like all the lodging houses again next year. Well, no, wait, <laughs> not yet. It looks good. I'll it's give you a report. It looks good. Uh, I'm going to give you a report on each one. Okay. Thank you, Dad. So, as far as um, look at license renewals for 2017, Dad, how do we stand? Everyone has their paperwork in. And we need a motion to approve the liquor license renewals for 2017. I, I have a question, and we, even yes. though we approved it already, La Parada is not on this one, right? No. <laughs> no. Okay. No. You don't see any La Parada yet. Okay. Now, what, in, in regards right. to the new licenses? New yes. licenses. We yes, have, it is there. Well, I have a question. We have um, the Linway Lounge, mm -hmm. which changed ownership to the Congo which does not have a license. On um, Broad, Street. Broad Street. They don't have a license. Linway Lounge is, uh, has renewed their license as them being the owners. They Still. But they're not open, they're not even open. They're not open. They haven't been open in six months. So, mm -hmm. seems like a pocket license. Well, it seems to me then we need to bring them in. Okay. From what I heard, I was still waiting for something from uh, ABCC. Well, I just right. ABCC. ABCC is not approving it. She's, they're not approving it because they cannot prove where the money came from. Right. Um, All right. So it's it's been returned to them with no penalties. Right. So they can certainly reapply if they can right. somehow prove. Right. Or, so I say we bring them in. We don't approve the license. We bring them in and find out what is going on from the event. But you need to bring Raphael back in then Exactly. Too. You already approved the transfer. Yeah. Because they spun a different story. So we, we, we the approved ABCC. the tra transfer based upon right. what the ABCC so does. Exactly. Because they told, the, the primaries question? from the Conga told the ABCC yeah. investigator that the, they haven't done the transfer yet. <coughs> Raphael is still paying the rent. Mm -hmm. All of these <coughs> 
Well, what happened? It's just unbelievable, that's all. But what I read on the contract, if I remember correctly, is that they were giving Raphael a house in the Dominican Republic and... There's a lot of issues with where those, the money came from. One of those, you know, for people that don't have a job. Concern. So again, we still need to approve the licenses for 2017. Okay. All right, then we need a uh, common picture of the licenses for 2017. Everybody's paperwork in. Uh, almost everyone. Uh, if they don't have their common vehicle by just um, if they haven't brought their paperwork in, I just sent out second notices to all the non-alcoholic common vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, and they've started to come in now. Uh, if they don't have them, then I'll be giving a list to ISD to okay. go and shut them down. Okay. Okay. So once that do have the paperwork in, we will approve. I'll make a motion that we approve those. Do you second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the ones that don't, you will send them. Yep. And then the uh, entertainment licenses for 2017, is that the same thing? Same thing. Okay. So I make a motion that we accept the um, entertainment licenses for 2017 for the ones that have the paperwork in. And and the okay, yeah. zero, zero, yep. zero. And then lodging houses. How are the lodging houses? Lodging houses. Okay. Jeffrey. I'm just saying, you Jeffrey. are you brought up with an honor. Okay, the lodging house licenses, they're all in except for one. And no, it's not 41 lights. <laughs> all right. It's Apollo. Um, so they're being reinspected, and um, I, we should see the, their paperwork, but otherwise, all, all in. Excellent. All in. Excellent. That's good. All right, and I just need a motion to accept the lodging house licenses for 2017. We'll accept the lodging house licenses for 2017. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay, and then there is no old business, but we do have <laughs> a few. All right. Uh, the first one is Bruno's. Uh, that came before you last month. That This is just a supplemental report written by mm -hmm. Detective Kelter yeah. that showed that there were charges. Uh, whatever you did last month should be okay. fine. This is not okay. a new event. Okay, right, right, so very good. Right. Um, so we'll just accept that for the class. Okay. Thank you. Cafe uh, Molino is a vandalism down there. The disturbing news is the statements by the owner that the, the suspect was too drunk. He had to be asked to leave, and then it became violent. So it's apparent by this report that he was drinking inside and over Yeah, served. over served. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Next month's meeting is going to be, there's tons of people coming, coming in, as it appears. So I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, should we send a letter to him, want, giving him a warning about the possibility of over serving, or? It's I'm sorry? The board's I discretion. The bo yeah, what do you think? I would ask. Uh, these we, guys we, we, we generally don't have problems down there. You okay. Know. All right, so I said send them a letter. I'll agree with the letter. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Right. I, I mean, there's a number of issues coming up, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then next. The, uh, the next one is La Parada. You have that information. Oh, yeah. So we've done, so we've done we're that. Done. We've yeah, we're that. done. Mm -hmm. But um, they're knocked up, too, right quick. Right. Yeah. And Christopher's is... Christopher's is another here. thing you're yeah. all familiar with. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Um, four wins. Four wins. There was a fight down at four wins. Uh, it appears both parties were intoxicated. The officers got there. They didn't want to do anything about the fight. They didn't want to take any charges. But it's clear that they were fighting in over syrup. Oh, the service. All right. Nice. Again, what you, what you feeling? A letter? We don't, a again, warning? If, we, if we're going to start sending letters, then I don't see it any different than a Molino. So, I mean, 
They did call. There was a they, fight. They did what they were supposed to do. Yeah. People were intoxicated. Right. It's, you know, this time of year. That's why you see so many police reports in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's completely your discretion. We go with the letter. The letter. Yeah. Letter. Yeah. Hacienda. Hacienda was. Uh, Mm. I went there with the officers, and yeah. uh, there were two parties that were very, very yeah. 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 But I spoke with the owner, uh, manager owner. He swears that they only had one drink. Uh, I can't dispute that other than they were very, very intoxicated. Yeah. I don't know how they got one drink if they came in intoxicated. They shouldn't have been given anything, but they were seriously intoxicated. Yeah. We need to replace them and make sure that they. Is that a motion? Exactly. Is that a motion, Mr. Clemens? I I I'd like to make a motion for us to bring them in. Uh, what would you repeat? He he wants to bring. bring Lieutenant Habrook says that these yeah, people were the lady was fall down drunk. Fall down she, down yeah, and yeah, they were PC. And they were PC. Right. They, they were taken into custody. Which is yeah, different so, from yeah. the other two. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I have no problems. Conference or here? Conference. 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 Yeah. Conference. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, the next is Eclipse, 47 Central. Now, there, um, there was, I believe, this was a fight. Okay. The officers discovered that there was a fight. Uh, two males and, uh, attacked or assaulted another male. They were inside. Um, he called, but he says he closed the door on after they got out mm -hmm. and called the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know that that's the best thing to do if someone's getting assaulted, but, right. uh, but he did call. Mm -hmm. I think we have another thing from there, uh, but I'll keep it in order. Um, the victims didn't want to have anything to do with the police. They didn't really want to tell the story, okay. so there's no real sense of if there was, a, you know, a victim or not. Or okay. It's more of a fight with uh, combatants together. I think it was a machete. But they did do what. Yeah, it, was yeah a, it says machete. Yeah. yeah. But they did do what they were supposed to do. They did. Well, there, there was an issue. The uh, the owner said uh, it happened outside. Right. It happened inside, and they went and they saw the blood inside. Had. So they saw that there was clearly an incident that happened inside where they were pushing and shoving mm -hmm. and they pushed everybody out. You wanted to say it wasn't inside, but it clearly was. Mm -hmm. I read it said my caddy, which is the line. She said, yeah, that's so my caddy. Which you call So what are we doing with that? Which, which? Eclipse? Do we have any uh, previous complaints on that? It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. But they, they, they did call. They did. I probably got to suggest that. I don't know if they called. Who called? He said in the report that they called. Who called? The report indicates that Mr. Victor Bravo said he closed the door on them and mm -hmm. then called the police. And then called the police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he told the officers. And it was. Right. Yeah, let me just ask you this: How do you think he should have handled it? If this is if this is how it went down, I think he what, should have been forthright. Right. If there was an incident in the bar, we should know about it, mm -hmm. and he, he, he should own that responsibility for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, and so if he's being deceptive to the investigating right. officers or the patrol people, which was apparent, I mean, it looked okay. like there was a scuffle inside. Mm -hmm. All right. So we. I mean, you're feeling, yeah, you're feeling, in, you're feeling, bring them in from yeah. conference and yeah. 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 yeah, all right, all right. And furthermore, there, there should be cameras, correct? Cameras, be video. Correct? I do believe they have they have cameras camera there. Well, yeah. they thought they didn't want to use them. It happens all too often here. Okay, so I say let's bring them in for a refresher. Yeah, and, I mean, put it, and we can put it right on this, you know, if we think, yes, I know, but they've been, they've been good. They've been good for yeah. a year. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's been a year, but they, they um, hopefully they can. Yeah, they made it, they made it, they made it, they made it a year. Oh, there it's All right, State Street Liquors. State Street Liquors is basically yeah. a PC that turned into a, a trespasser. Yes. Yeah. There's somebody well-known 
right. it's uh, an AP in downtown. It starts a lot of trouble. Okay, uh, so we just accept that for the class. I would say so. Um, Eclipse is mentioned again. Yeah. In an incident where somebody was in there, they ultimately, whether it's true or not, they were told that they could go to another location and meet up with some some uh, oh, girls, yeah, yeah. and then they were lost. So I don't know yeah. what the management there could do to, to, to avoid that, right. that yeah. necessarily. Okay, so we'll just accept that for the okay. yeah. Pelican. The Pelican was a B and E. Yeah. Uh, I talked to Freddie Cronin, and he said to, that nothing was taken. The alarm might have scared away. All right. Um, accept that for the Pelican. Yeah, Melicon. Oh, um, oh. That was Mike Kelter's, um, we got a call from the owner, um, I think Detective Pettipus did, said there was a kid in there acting kind of suspicious and they had a, a firearm on him, ultimately he yeah, did have yeah, a firearm, yeah, but it was, yeah. it was like a BB gun, yeah. but he was arrested for disorder. Right, but they had nothing to do with the establishment. No, so no he called, yeah. he actually yeah, called, exactly. he called and said the guy was, yeah. you know, seemed intoxicated, they right. refused to serve him, right, yeah. and then he wouldn't leave. Right, so, so just then he called and said he was acting kind of funky. Okay, excellent. And then um, El Pogorcito. Pogorcito is, is a, uh, another uh, intoxicated female. Yeah. Seems by the report she was very intoxicated. Ooh. She could have probably easily been assisted to the hospital yeah. as opposed to the police station. Yeah. So, um, um, what was her? Well, did they serve her? Do you know? I read the report and uh, there's nothing in there that actually indicates that I remember, yeah. anyways. Yeah. But I. I it would be my assumption that she was drinking in there and was over served. And if um, the manager wants to come here and tell us otherwise, they can try to explain that. Right. Now, she also has cameras. She's she supposed to have. Remember, she's the one that got the big cameras and everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's see if they worked. You want they to they try to get the video. You can. Why no, I went in there and I looked at the system, yeah. and the system is working. It's a recording. I'm not sure if it is. This is the problem we have. They find we have systems in all these establishments. Then when there's an incident, we try to go back and, and get some video. Nobody knows how to do it. It's not recording. It's all erased, even if it's a timely investigation. So I don't know if she has it. She, it should be last time that she yeah, had it. Yeah. I think I saw it the same as Miguel. Yeah. And um, I just don't know how, how well we can retrieve it. Yeah. But they, they are the ones that call the police and everything yes. and whatnot. Yes. Want to just bring her in for a, a conference just to push her mind? Okay, and then um, we have the Lynn Museum. And my money is the same thing. I think we send, send them a letter and let them know what the expectations are and that they cannot serve drinks complimentary. Oh, to the yes, yes. the museum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they can't tap it. They can't do it out of no way. That's pretty crazy. I already spoke to Drew. Uh, yeah. All right. Told them not to ever. Anything else? Because there also seem to be additional with the the wine they serve doesn't appear to come from the street. Yeah, but that's why. Yeah, that's, that's why I really think we need to. to I really think we need to. No, but they, how would they know? They don't get the same rules. I know you can't. Hey, Jeffrey, you can go now. You're the Smith. Well, just that when they return it, there's those receipts in, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.